you check that out? We're in Vermilion Cliffs National Monument. Welcome to White Pocket. Wow, just grab the first one we see. That's evil Kiva right there. That is the key for sizing up a helmet, ladies and gentlemen. Just find the colors you like the best, and it always works. You look like Darth Vader. <laughs> what a lightsaber with that. Lou. We're going to be in high most of the time, unless we're doing some rock crawling, then I'll have you put it in low. And then this is the four wheel drive button in the middle. And it's on on this one. That's where we want it right now. These things are as easy to roll as your car is, basically, you know. So, you know, just don't go on as, get going as fast as you can in a straight line and try to turn in the tightest corner. Or like golf carts, if you roll them, <laughs> yeah. yeah, people just try to put their legs out. It's like, dude, yeah. you're not going to win, you know. You're not going <laughs> to hold that thing up, Superman. Going down House Rock Valley Road, which we're on right now, you guys will be able to get going pretty fast and get a feel for these machines. Uh, heading out to White Pocket this morning, we'll be on House Rock Valley Road for about 15 miles and then we'll get on onto some softer sandy roads. I'll stop at any crossroad where you guys might take a wrong turn if I'm not there. Yeah, yeah, I don't want you guys eating dust and you know, that's not part of the trip. We got a little pit stop here on the way to White Pocket. As you can see, we're at the paw hole. <laughs> what did you think about the ride out here? Ride out here was unbelievable. Uh, the the Polaris Razor, those things, <laughs> those things are incredible. That was my first time on it, and they can go over anything. Awesome ride out. The ride out here was almost worth the price of admission. Absolutely alone. I mean, we were going on the off-roads where when we were in our Jeep, we were going maybe five or 10 miles an hour. That thing was going 50 plus. <laughs> yeah. It was close because of the bank turns, almost like a roller coaster, yeah, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. Really sweet. That was really, really sweet though. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys, as you can see, welcome to the paw hole. Um, little buttes of red sandstone sticking out behind us up here. Uh, we'll take some time here. You're welcome to hike around out there. There is a little trail that goes in between them all.
the south entrance into White Pocket. There is a north entrance too, and we'll do a loop and go past both and uh, let you guys see both sides and uh, kind of work our way through the middle too. Welcome to White Pocket. Um, this place is pretty neat just because of the geology here. If you happen to look off to the north where we came from, um, basically you can see Bryce Canyon up in the distance there, the very high point. And basically wind and water has been having its way with it out here and that's what's made White Pockets. There's plenty of different names for formations out here. I kind of let people name them as we go if they want to, but uh, <laughs> some are easier to figure out than others. A new look at every turn. How about this formation right here? This is called the Trident. Pretty amazing, isn't it? So after um, multiple discussions, we've decided to change the name. This is now Randy's Castle. Oh, yes. Thank you. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Just for you, my friend. <laughs> Spread the good word amongst all your other tour guides. That's the funny thing. You go out here and like you'll call it something and then another tour guide will come in here and be like... And what can we expect to see out here, Cash? You're going to see stuff like you've never seen before. Uh, <laughs> stuff that's kind of crazy, um, you know. Anyone's imagination can kind of go wild out here with the way that the rock formations are and the way the swirls are. All right, so we made it to one of the top rock formations here, and the view 360 is amazing. Wow. So these are yeah. cowboy glyphs, you're calling them? Yeah, cowboy glyphs. And, uh, you know, anymore we teach people not to carve their names in the rock, but since these are about 100 years old, you know, they're kind of historical. And uh, the Bureau of Land Management will leave them here at this point. They don't try to remove them. If you look up above, someone has scratched graffiti on this side also. That will be removed. And it's really easy. All you do is take some water, throw it up on there and wipe it. And it pretty much comes off. But uh, it's kind of funny, you know, you have all these sites around here with a thousand, three thousand year old pictures on it the Native Americans put and people think they should just come up and carve their names next to it. And as far as an area goes, I think I read one square mile, is that correct? Pretty close to that, okay. yep. I call it walking on the moon, okay. where the waves kind of like blow your mind. <laughs> <laughs> but this is this is a lot of blow your mind too. It's just like rocks are not supposed to do things like they're doing out here. Yeah, so we're in White Pocket right now, kind of out in the middle. And uh, the reason they originally called this White Pocket 
is it's a natural pocket that holds water after rainstorms. And so being out in the desert here, that's pretty important, especially when you got cattle. So if you turn around and look, you'll actually see the trail be into the sandstone going up the rocks behind us. And uh, that's the way that they'd lead cattle into this place to get water and out. See those round things? Yeah. Those are the shoes from the, uh, from the horses? Or? Uh -huh. All right, Cash, as you were saying, this is the... Uh... This is called the mushroom. It's kind of funny. You walk around the other side, it doesn't even really look like anything. But yeah, after we uh, leave here, we're going to drop down into the valley. Hershey Kiss Valley is what they call this. As you can see all the little kisses down there. They don't have any wrappers on the top and no tinfoil, though. So you got to use your imagination. We're gonna go up over the top here, but we're gonna use the racetrack to get up into this crevasse up above. And then uh, hopefully once we get up there, we'll have a good view and uh, be able to see our path towards the vehicles. It's feasible. I think we can do it. Thanks so much for traveling with us today from beautiful White Pocket. We are signing out right now. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to America's Parks. And remember, there's always room for you on every National Park adventure. You have a great day.